I'm Josh Jones. I'm the marine mammal observer on board the Seaplex cruise, and my job is to find out what species of whales and dolphins there are out in this area where we're surveying for plastics. Uh, it's also an area where there really hasn't been very much survey for marine mammals done, so we're not exactly sure what species we're going to find. But we're going to use uh, visual methods and acoustic methods to try and figure out what's there. So we are going to deploy this towed acoustic array over the side, and these one, two, three, four, five, six black things are hydrophones that are going to record the sound in the ocean. So we'll tow it behind the boat, and then any whales in the area will, if they're making sounds, then we'll hear them. We pick that up on the hydrophones, and then we'll receive that, we'll analyze it with computers inside, and we'll try and figure out what's there. So I'm getting ready to put a towed acoustic array of hydrophones into the water, and this tube contains six special microphones that allow us to hear all the sound that's going on in the ocean around us as we tow it through the water. Okay, so now that we have the acoustic array in the water, I have a number of amplifiers here that handle the sound and process it and filter it out so that we get rid of the noise and we keep what we call the signal, which would be the sounds of the whales and dolphins. We use a suite of software here to log all of our data and to also do some real-time analysis of those sounds so that we can tell what species of whales we're listening to when we do have detections and even figure out where they are in the ocean with respect to the hydrophone that we're towing behind us. So I am on board the, this boat during the Seaplex cruise to find out what species of whales and dolphins there are out there in the gyre where they're looking for these plastics. It's important to know that so that we can figure out how the distribution of these whales and dolphins uh, compares to the distribution of the plastics. And also, it's an area that hasn't been studied very much for whales and dolphins, so we might find that uh, we might find some things that we didn't know about those animals out there, like there could be species that we don't expect. So in many ways, this is an exploratory, not only for the Seaplex plastics crews, but for marine mammal observation in general.